Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at CNET's NVIDIA 2023 RTX event, pretty much the RTX live stream in 12 minutes. Last fall, we introduced a quantum leap in PC gaming, our Ada Lovelace architecture. Ada features next generation shader cores, RT cores, and tensor cores, and breakthroughs in graphics like shader execution reordering. I'm excited to announce that the Ada Lovelace architecture is coming to GeForce Now. The new RTX 4080 Super Pods will deliver an amazing 64 teraflops of graphics goodness to each gamer. I that is it. five times the performance of graphics an Xbox goodness. Series X, and will include full ray tracing and DLSS 3. For competitive gamers, we're also bringing NVIDIA Reflex to GFN. The RTX... All right, so real quick, GFN is their online cloud gaming service. Pretty much you pay like a monthly and you have access to a, a GPU-enabled machine. All right, so this is what they're talking about right now, the Super Pods. 4080 Super Pods can render and stream at 240 frames per second. When combined with our Reflex technology, it achieves click to pixel latency below 40 milliseconds, a first in cloud gaming. That is about half the latency most console gamers see. The RTX 4080 will be available in our new Ultimate membership, which is replacing our highest tier, the RTX 3080 membership. Only Ultimate members will have exclusive access to our highest performance GPUs and can stream at up to 4K and 240 frames per second. That's insane. RTX 4080 availability will start in select data centers in late January with added coverage across North America and Western Europe throughout Q1. All RTX 3080 members will receive the ultimate upgrade and be among the first to become ultimate members. And more exciting, the price to existing 3080 members will remain the same, just $19.99 a month. Today, I am excited to announce our Here next GPU in the family the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. The RTX 4070 Ti delivers up to three times the performance of our previous flat. What's crazy about this chart is if you look at the 4070 Ti and where the RTX 3090 Ti is sitting at, that's bananas. For $799, $800, the 47 Ti is faster than the 3090 Ti. Let, let that sink in a little bit. Flagship GPU, the 3090 Ti. It will max out your 1440p gaming monitor, delivering over 120 frames per second on modern games like a Plague Tale Requiem, Warhammer 40K Darktide, F1 2022, and Spider-Man Miles Morales. With the power of DLSS 3, the 4070 Ti delivers 1.8x performance across a range of titles, while consuming almost half the power. The RTX 4070 Ti is packed with 40 teraflops of Ada shader cores, 93 teraflops of third generation RT cores, and 641 teraflops of fourth generation tensor cores. It features dual AV1 encoders to double the performance of video export. The RT this is going to be great not only for gamers, but for video editors as well. To get access to AV1 encoder and DLSS3 for $800 for professionals, editing professionals, this right here will save them money in the long run because time is money. Rendering AV1, if that's going to become the standard of video codec, it renders fast. So I'm pretty sure a lot of videographer editors are going to grab this as well. They should. TX 4070 Ti will be available on January 5th with a starting price of $799. Kind of want one. for performance and portability has fueled RTX laptop growth well beyond the overall PC market. This is crazy. And now over one third of GeForce users are creating and there's more to come, with 60% of the GeForce laptop installed base not yet upgraded to RTX. Power and thermal constraints are the ultimate challenges in Over delivering eight. high performance in thin, highly portable laptops. With the Ada architecture, we set out to transform laptops through process, design, and technology. The result 
is a massive two-third reduction in power at the same performance. Put another way, Ada beats our current flagship GPUs with one-third the power. Today, we are announcing the GeForce RTX 40 Series laptops. They are three times more power efficient and bring I the Ada one. architecture, DLSS 3, and new Max-Q technologies to the next generation of laptops. Across gaming and creating, RTX 40 Series laptops deliver up to four times the performance in the most demanding apps. Yo, look at that cyberpunk. For years, we've worked with Crazy. system OEMs and CPU manufacturers to look beyond the GPU to a full system design approach to performance and portability. We call it Max-Q. We optimize every aspect of the laptop, the GPU, CPU, memory, thermal, software, display, and more to deliver powerful devices that are thin and quiet with great battery life. Today, we are introducing the new RTX 4070, 4060, and 4050 laptops. Faster than our last generation Starting flagship laptops. Starting at 999, at bro, power, for a 4050? Delivering frames per second, 1440p ultra gaming, and transforms creating like rendering scenes in Blender that used to take two and a half hours to just 10 minutes on RTX. 40 series laptops start at just $999 and will be available on February 22nd. The Ada architecture has also enabled a new class of enthusiast laptops. I'm excited to introduce today the new RTX 4090 <laughs> oh, no, 4080 bro. flagship laptop. <laughs> they put a 4090 they in a laptop, dude. They start at 1999 and will be available on February 8th. NVIDIA Studio is our platform for this new breed of content creators. I want one. Supercharging workflows with RTX GPUs. Over 110 RTX accelerated apps. Dozens of SDKs and studio drivers to deliver continual performance updates. The heartbeat of the studio platform is found in NVIDIA Omniverse, where creators can connect those accelerated apps and collaborate in real time. 3D creators use many specialized design and content creation tools to complete projects. Those tools don't easily interact with one another, making it hard for artists to iterate quickly or bring their projects and assets from tool to tool. NVIDIA Omniverse is a collaboration platform enabling artists to connect their favorite tools from Adobe, Autodesk, Unreal Engine, Side Effects, and more. Creators see the aggregated scene instantly come together without lengthy import and export cycles. Changes happen in real time across the connected apps, whether a single artist working in multiple apps simultaneously or a team contributing their individual elements from around the globe. NVIDIA Broadcast enhances your mic and webcam. With the latest update, we are adding eye contact to the feature list. Come take a closer look. Oh, I'm checking this out. Hi, drop shippers. This is perfect for Zoom classes because you could legit be looking at your phone but the camera is showing you're looking straight. You might actually be able to go to sleep while taking Zoom virtual classes. Just an idea. This is genius. Thanks, NVIDIA. The new NVIDIA broadcast update will be available to all RTX users later this month. Mine. Watching video is one of the most popular activities on PCs today. 90% of online videos run at 1080p or lower. Well, nearly half of RTX users have higher resolution monitors. This mismatch can leave a blurry or soft visual Ew. experience. Today, we're announcing RTX Video yeah. Super Resolution, using AI to improve the quality of internet video streaming in two ways. Oh, that's First, awesome. by removing blocky compression artifacts, and second, by upscaling video resolution. This AI accelerated combination improves video sharpness and clarity on high resolution displays. RTX Video Super Resolution will enhance video streamed in Chrome and Edge browsers starting this February on RTX 30 and 40 series GPUs. Developing self-driving cars is one of the most complex AI challenges of our time. It requires two computers, an AI factory in the data center that is used for software development and testing, and there's an AI computer in the car. The bigger computer is the AI data factory in the cloud. OEMs need to process massive amounts of data collected from their fleet and then curate, label, and train their AI self-driving software models. Using NVIDIA's DriveSim, you can then test and validate this self-driving software in the digital twin of these cars on millions of scenarios every day. All this software runs on NVIDIA DGX and OVX servers in the cloud. 
Now in the vehicle computer, NVIDIA Drive provides a suite of full-stack self-driving and cockpit application software. This includes the operating system, middleware, parking, self-driving, and various in-vehicle cockpit applications. NVIDIA is unique in that we're the only company helping the industry end-to-end, -end, from the complete AI data factory in the cloud to the full software stack running in the car. The traditional vehicle architecture is very distributed, with nearly 100 different computers in a car. There are computers for your power seats and windows, your cockpit displays, driver monitoring system, as well as your parking and self-driving applications. The NVIDIA Drive platform is designed to simplify and centralize the architecture for software-defined vehicles, enabling a leap in performance and capability while reducing energy consumption and cost. We recently announced our Drive Thor SOC. It's the first advanced robotic central computer that NVIDIA has built with the safety and security required to allow multiple vehicle it, It's just so crazy to me hearing these words and looking at this presentation like I'm watching some kind of sci-fi movie. This is reality now, people. This is insane, man. Applications to run in parallel. It's time to With buy more Ford, NVIDIA stocks. OEMs can redesign their vehicles to have an architecturally compatible high-performance computer and sensor suite across their entire fleet. It's clear that as next generation of cars become autonomous and electric, the interior is transformed into a mobile living space complete with the same entertainment available at home. We already talked about GeForce Now and how NVIDIA's revolutionary streaming service is transforming how you can play games. Today we're announcing that GFN is coming to the screens in your car. Powered by gaming super- Not mine, bro. I drive a Prius. Supercomputers in the cloud, GeForce Now connects to the world's biggest digital game stores, so users can stream across any device, including internet-enabled cars. No special equipment required. Stream and play the biggest games while you charge, wait to pick up a family member, or entertain kids in the backseat. With over 1,500 games ready to play, passengers can enjoy top game titles with millions of other PC gamers online. By combining NVIDIA's heritage in gaming and infotainment, we're reimagining an in-vehicle experience for passengers to relax and have fun. Today, I'm excited to announce that several drive partners are integrating GeForce Now. BYD, Hyundai Motor Group, and Polestar are all working with NVIDIA to enable the vast catalog of game titles to be enjoyed in their cars. Let me go ahead and rewind back to the graphics cards and stuff. And let's just kind of talk about that a little bit because obviously that's the end of the video here. Um, a couple of things, because I always get questions here on the channel about you know, my thoughts about this entire thing. Um, obviously, for a 4070 Ti to be priced at $800, to put that in perspective, that's like a used iPhone 12, maybe 13. But if you look at what that graphics card can do with AV1 encoding, with DLSS3, with faster editing, video editing, it's not really just a video game card anymore and i know people are always going to say i don't like the pricing of the nvidia cards there but they're also forgetting about what newer cards really mean to the older cards because now that we have the four series like the 4070 ti the 30 series is now going to become a lot cheaper the 3 series is no joke either the 3090 is a really, really good card. But again, looking at this now, but at the same time, if you look at that 3 Series, and that 3 Series is, the 3060 is at $349, $329. I mean, that's that's pretty insane. I've had the 3060, and again, it's a pretty darn powerful card for $300. So whenever all these new GPUs are coming now from NVIDIA, okay, if, Set seventeen hundred dollars for a forty ninety, but at the same time, you look at that that list. Now we have a ten series, two series, a twenty eighty Ti is still a really good card, a three series, and now a four series. What people are missing is that we have so many options, and what's cool about it is Nvidia is creating a GPU 
for every single budget, especially now with used three series cards. So you don't have to have the latest and greatest all the time. Sometimes whenever new things come out, I get excited because I know the old thing that I wanted for a long time is now cheaper. And now you can buy that. You know, it's not always just, hey, I'm going to go grab that thing. Obviously, the reason why I buy the newest and greatest stuff is I, my content relies on it a lot. You know what I mean? So in my case, that $1,700 that I spent on the 4090 is already paid for from the content that I created here on the channel. So again, I keep seeing NVIDIA is not fair for pricing all these cards is because you're always looking at the brand new one. The three series, the two series, I had the 1080 Ti for almost three to five years. I was okay with it. You know, obviously technology is advancing super freaking fast. The performance increase from a 3090 to a 490 is obviously a lot, but at the same time, my daughter's five, I bought the 1080 Ti, I had it when she was born, you know, I just got rid of it. So, you know, I get that's just my two cents because I'm seeing this con the comments about I, I, that's just kind of my two cents because I see a lot of people complaining about the price of NVIDIA graphics cards. But um, it's it's crazy because because if you look at this right here, this is the Cyberpunk 2077. Obviously, it's using ray tracing overdrive mode, which uses RTX DI DLSS3, probably with this right here as far as the frames per second. This is impressive stuff. Um, will it make you a better player? Probably not. I'm still terrible at gaming, even though I have the great graphics card. Obviously, I was a lot better because I played a lot more when I had a 1080 Ti. So it's not going to make you a better player. It could, but you're still going to have to put time and effort whenever you're playing a video game. Now, for me, I don't play a lot of games anymore. Cyberpunk, I have a lot of all these games, and I kind of want to do research on it because I'm studying how light is, how they're lighting it, and how their reflections are. So it's it's pretty cool. It's just giving us a lot more options. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. I, you know, as y'all know, I love hearing your thoughts when it comes to this stuff because I like talking to y'all. So I'll see y'all later.